uh, a brief comment before we move forward, which is uh, what objectives we have on the system. They're here. You can change them either here or on the touch screen. Um, so, so what do we have available on the system? So we have three air objectives, the 5X, the 10X, and the 20X. Uh, the 20X is your go-to objective for any kind of cellular imaging. Uh, so if you're interested in sort of cellular level things like scanning a tissue, um, a tissue slice uh, to see what cells of different kinds are in that tissue slice. The 10X allows you obviously a bigger field of view at the expense of some brightness and resolution. The 5X allows you a massive field of view at the expense of a lot of uh, resolution and, and really it's not very confocal. Um, so uh, th th those objectives are typically used for cellular work when you're looking at, at very big areas. Um, the 25X is kind of a special objective in that it can use three different kinds of immersion oil, uh, and it's typically used to image things like organoids. Um, it, it has a 0.6 millimeter working distance, so it, it can look at something pretty thick, um, and it can use um, an immersion medium that matches um, the, the, the um, sort of refractive index of the sample as much as possible. If any of you, you are doing organoids, let me know, and uh, we can discuss um, more how this objective can be useful for you. And then we have the 40X and the 63X 1.4 objectives. Uh, these are both excellent objectives for subcellular work. Um, they have the same numerical aperture, so even though they have different magnifications, the 63X um, is not higher resolution. They both have the same resolution. The 40X obviously has a bigger field of view. Uh, it has a shorter working distance, so you can only look about 130 microns into the sample. With with the 63X, you can look about 190 microns into the sample. Uh, what that ends up meaning is that the 40X is an excellent objective to use if you have cells grown on a cover slip, um, where they're really close to where you're going to image, whereas the 63X is better if you have them, for example, on a slide and then you put a cover slip on top because it's going to be a little bit farther. If you can get away with using the 40X, that's usually um, uh, the preferred choice. Um, in what follows, I'm, I'm actually going to use the 63X to go into detail onto things that you can adjust in acquisition mode.